Good morning. Welcome to Washita Mountain Podcast. <laughs> I like saying it like that. Podcast. Podcast video, whatever, man. It was a movie back in my day. Wasn't no videos. There wasn't no podcast. You want to listen to people talk? You got the AM radio out. And, you know, we kind of went through. <laughs> When you get a Spanish-speaking station, you'd get past that because you couldn't understand the darn thing they said. And then that's about all it was on. Well, we go back earlier, everything was on AM, all the hit music. And then I think FM took off probably about the mid-70s, somewhere in there. Yeah, it was cool. You got stereo. Yeah, man. And we, we take for granted what we have today for music. Uh, I could, I got that big round thing there. I can just ask for a song. Any song I want, it'll play it. Back then, man, you wanted to make, uh, I don't know, if you're old enough, you remember you had cassette tapes with the recorder. And you'd have the radio playing. And then you would try to record. You didn't know what song was coming up next most of the time. They wouldn't tell you. And you try to make tapes to listen to off the radio. Catch that latest hit and then record it. But then you'd always get commercials, you know. Didn't know when they would pop up. You'd always get commercials in your tape. I even had an 8-track player under the seat. in my. I think I had a Nova. 69 or 70 Nova, Chevy Nova. Yeah, you, know, you didn't like the song it was playing. You hit the button and it starts off in the middle of some other song. There was no beginning or end on them things. But they were cool. But yeah, you'd have to have a whole suitcase full of those tapes. I actually had one of them big console stereos. I may have a video on my Dogman channel of me tearing that thing apart because I didn't know what else to do with it. But it was like a 1970s Magnavox. Uh, I still got the speakers from it. And the tweeters in my shed. I think. I don't know why I'm keeping them. I'm probably never going to do nothing with them. But I got them. Uh, yeah, you, can't, you couldn't give that thing away. I bought it when I first bought the cabin to put in here so I could crank up some tunes, you know, when I'm working. But, yeah, that was back in the day. That was only 10 years ago. So anyway, this will be the last podcast in this office. I have completely finished the new office. The flooring is in. The baseboards are back on. And I only have five feet to go to finish my flooring. Uh, it went really well yesterday. Uh, I brought four or five boxes inside and I put them up pretty close to where the heater was. Got them all warm. That made the difference because that vinyl plank flooring is pretty rigid. And if it's cold, it does not have any flex to it. So, And you need to have flex because the sheets are, you know, four and a half feet long. So you got to be able to get them all into the little grooves so you can lay them down. And it went much faster yesterday. And surprisingly, the more I do it, the less sore that I get. Yesterday was a piece of cake. And I got through the hardest part of it. So now all I have is the kitchen left and probably five feet. I've got that angled cabinet so those pieces will have angles on them. That stuff's very easy. You just take a utility knife, you score it, you break it kind of like sheetrock, and then you cut it off. It's very easy to work with. Uh, a lot of people don't understand what vinyl plank, plank flooring is. Uh, not on this channel, but on the other channel. A lot of people are, well, you didn't put down a vapor barrier. You didn't put any cushion down. Well, you don't do, you don't put anything down with vinyl plank flooring. It is, uh, well, let me just go get one and show you. Gee, that didn't take long, did it? So if you'll notice on the bottom, this is the bottom. This is 100% waterproof, the entire plank. Everything, vapor barrier, whatever, is all inside there. Uh, this is one, a piece of scrap. So if this were to get wet, 
it isn't going to hurt it. Unlike wood, uh, they you can buy the the plank flooring in wood. It, if it gets wet, it's ruined. Not this stuff. You can actually pull it up, dry it off, and you're good to go. And this is what everybody's using now. Nobody nobody's using that stuff that you put the padding down. Uh, actually, if you were to do that, put anything underneath this, the warranty is void. So it's very easy. It just you know you want to cut it you just score it turn it and cut it and but i've been just taking it out to the table saw uh like this piece i took out to the table saw very very easy to cut it's just like you're you know cuts easier than wood actually so this is what i put down in the and i'm almost done by the end of today the whole, entire floor will be done other than where my safe is uh, i've got ivy uh, ants and ivies coming over Saturday we're gonna move that and we're also going out to Jeff's to wire up his uh, his shed with electrical so we're gonna go out there and do that also gonna be picking up I gotta get this thing out of my way guys also gonna be picking up uh, a washer and dryer that Peter has bought from old man King homestead I'll be storing that in my shed like I need more stuff in my shed but I'm going to be storing that in there until he gets moved got a heck of a deal on it from uh, somebody I know from the dog rescue they actually bought a new property that has two old structures on it and it had brand new appliances in there so they don't want those and there's also two window units she's selling I'm going to take a look at that uh, I'm thinking they're probably going to be too big for my new building, but uh, who knows? I may put a new one. If it's a bigger one, I may put it in the house and take the one in the house and put it in there. Or, you know, play musical air conditioners. Uh, I'll have to get a good price on it because you can pick up a new air conditioner uh, like at Ollie's for 200 bucks. Um, I almost bought one last week, but I decided to wait. I uh, don't know where I'm going to be, when I'll be able to get to the building to work on it. The good news is I way overshot uh, the amount of flooring that I bought. Currently there is five boxes in the shed and four boxes left in the house. And I only got probably a box and a half, two boxes worth to go. So I'm going to have plenty of leftover flooring to do the loft completely so that's that's a plus i mean i could take it back but why i mean that's probably just enough to do the loft or i could do the new building with it the new building really isn't important to put flooring in it has pretty much a vinyl flooring already and it's just going to be a shop so i need to get that loft that thing has just been you know, up until about a year and a half ago, I couldn't even get up there. I'd have to take a, a ladder, put it in front, because I, I tore out the old steps. They were treacherous, too steep, dangerous. Uh, and the way I would get up there, it was just for storage. The way I would get up there was just climb a ladder, and it was very dangerous. I actually had a ladder slide out from under me one time and came face down. The ladder slipped out this way. And I landed face down about a 12, 13 foot drop, laughing the whole way. Don't ask me why I was laughing, but I think it probably saved me from, and I just wound up a little sore ribs, uh, but I could have really got hurt. And Rooster had just walked underneath it just moments before. So I, I've had some close calls here uh, with the amount of work I've had to do, you know, it happens. So today we finished the flooring. I got to get this office moved because this is where the safe is going to be moved to. And on the safe it has uh, probably a four, four inch temporary legs that the safe sits on. And it's they're not made to stay on there. They have to be unscrewed and the safe has to be able to sit flat. Uh, I'm not going to bolt that into the ground because that thing's almost 600 pounds and ain't nobody going to carry that off anyway. But that's actually coming just about almost to where I'm sitting. Um, it's going to come right to the right of me where my bulletin board is. And then this 
office becomes a pantry. Um, I've been stocking up on a lot of canned goods. I've actually stopped buying them for now because I've been busy with this and I don't want to accumulate any more items in this cabin while I'm remodeling it. So once I get, uh, tomorrow I'll be going to Walmart, I'll probably pick up, once I get the office emptied, I'll know exactly how many shelves I can put in here. I already have one. I know I'm going to need at least two more. Uh, the shelf behind me, I haven't decided if I'm putting that in a new office yet or not. It's not as big as a space as this room, so I'm going to get my desk in there first, get my monitor hung on the wall. My security system will remain in here in this office. That way I don't have to move all my cameras that are wired. I picked up 50 feet of HDMI cable, which I'll just run along the ceiling, tack them up there, and put a new monitor in there. That way I'll be able to see it from my recliner if I'm watching TV at night. And I, you know, the monitor here will remain in here. As well as my Starlink uh, modem that doesn't need to be moved because it's wireless so that's only 50, 10 feet away so it should pick up my wireless signal just fine so really all I got to move is my monitor that's screwed to the wall on a rack no big deal and then the desk uh, this room's quite the mess the desk is quite the mess full of stuff it always is but once I get that moved uh, it's going to be nice. Rooster will like it because I'll be right there. Uh, those of you who don't know, Rooster's my dog. And she's a girl. And her name's Rooster. That's right. And I have a Rooster. His name is Waddles. And he's outside. Yeah. So today's a very busy day. I have to get all this done. I will, I will have some time to work on it also tomorrow. Uh, I'll get up... I've been getting up like 3.34 in the morning every morning. So I will leave early tomorrow, get my dog food, pick up my shelving units. Uh, this room by then will be empty, so it won't be any big deal to pick up new things and bring in here. I think they had them, the one I have in the, uh, under the stairs, uh, it's like a four, it's a wire rack, four shelves. I think that was like $62 at Walmart. Very, very strong. So that's what I'm going to be getting. But I'm also going to probably get some plumber strap and secure them to the wall. Because I'm going to be having a lot of canned goods and things on it. I already do have a lot. I've got five gallon pails full of beans and rice and you name it. So it doesn't hurt. And I'll tell you, it's actually, I'm finding out it's very nice to have a very good stock of food on hand. Because, you know, the way I shop, I don't go buy a whole lot of things at once. I'll shop for maybe one or two days worth of food. And then I'll just go back. You know, it helps get me out of the house. Otherwise, I'd sit here all week. It gets, gets me out of the house. But it's nice if I, you know, if I... I need a can of Rotel. Well, I've got 25 of them on the shelf. You just go pick one. You remember that you used it, you replace it, you rotate the stock. Pretty easy. Because we never know what we're going to wake up to each day. I mean, we could wake up, something major happened where the food supply just stops. And you don't have to worry so much if you've got your own little private grocery store on hand. And you know, I'm not going to get too crazy with it. But I like I would like to at least have on hand a good at least a year supply worth of food. And by a year supply, I don't mean eating gourmet meals. I mean strictly canned goods that I can survive on, dried beans, pasta, survival food. Because if it gets that bad, it's not about you know, something tasting good. I mean, it can taste good, but it's not about gourmet meals. It's about survival. Um, if you got to crack open a can of uh, sliced carrots, that's your meal for the more or the afternoon. Then that's your meal. Um, I've always gotten used to eating things out of a can cold. I learned that in the military. So it ain't nothing for me to open a can of corn or a can, uh, can of green beans or whatever and eat it cold right out of the can. I mean, that's survival. 
you're probably actually getting better nutrients if you don't heat it up. Uh, heat the, probably destroys a lot of that. I don't think so, but, you know, hey, that's, I'm going with that. All right, guys, so this is the last podcast in the red room. We're going to the beige room. Hopefully, we'll get one up in the morning. If not, the very next one, uh, you will see. I don't think I'm going to be filming anything for the next few days. I just want to get a lot. I got so much done yesterday, not having to worry about filming. So we're going to get a lot of this done, and then I'll make a video and go around, show you the grand reveal. But it's it's going to be nice. And as soon as I get the office moved and the floor finished, that will be today. I have to begin on building the one cabinet and finishing the wall that my vent hood's going on. And we'll get the kitchen all going. I have decided that I am going to cut into the butcher block to recess my induction stove top. It'll look just so much nicer that way. And the nice thing is if I if, if it's gonna sit flush. So if I want to use that as a counter space, I'll just take that cutout piece of butcher block, put it right over it, or I'll make a little cover for it, and it could still be used as a shell, uh, as a countertop. So, but I'm going to have plenty of space, so it doesn't matter. All right, guys, I ain't talking about sand today. That video <laughs> did not do well. I've learned on these podcasts if you bring up subjects topics i don't know nobody wants to hear it so but i just thought it was interesting man sometimes you got to come up with ideas and you know especially if you do these every day i almost do every day but not always so stay tuned and uh tune in tomorrow and we'll see what i've how far i've gotten and see if i'm in the new office and i will be in the new office because after this is uploaded the computer gets shut down and I start ripping cords apart moving things and it's gonna suck but it's gonna be good in the end happy trails